Wait, this is basically like Rogue Scrims, isn't it? It's Rogue versus Adam, VTO, Noah, Jun, and Linkas. Linkas, really good. That guy's really good. I don't know if it's good content to cast in houses. Because, like, people people will see, like, Rogue lose, for example, and then they'll be like, Rogue is so bad! And it's just an in house. Who cares? So they ban Lucian, Oriana, Maokai, Rumble, Varus. So all the bans are the same as last patch, but they banned Lucian. I guess. I heard the champs with Kraken Slayer are broken. Kraken Slayer, Blade of the Ruin King are apparently OP on the new patch. Don't tell me Zeri's back in meta. Is that is that is that cap or is that real? LeBlanc, AD LeBlanc is back or what? Is it AD LeBlanc? Lissandra, go dro drop a Lissandra Larson. Yeah, Turbo, good pick. No skin Leeson. What the fuck? No skin. That's disgusting. Don't forget to subscribe. Look at top lane. It's absolutely ungankable. Uh, Fnatic gen generic 15 is uh, is Jun. Yeah, like red side. It's so e it's so easy to gank red. I mean, I guess it's the same, no? But red side bot lane feels so easy to gank. Oh my god, it's jumping around everywhere. Oh VTO. No bot side camps for you or what? Look how easy it is to invade. This is crazy. I feel like I'm watching Wild Rift. What is this? This looks like Wild Rift, man! Oh shit, Linkas is going in! You could just invade like that in a normal in a, in, in the previous patch. No, you couldn't. Look at this. Look at what LeBlanc does. La la la. La 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 la. <laughs> la la la. Look at this! <laughs> Red side is ruined. I do think red side might be ruined, you know. I don't know what the win rates are in these in-houses, but is, 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 uh, is red side dying more? Like early game now because of this bot change? Uh-oh. They're pinging it though. Oh, the double stun from, from Caster Yun. What is this? That's haunting. Oh, they brought that haunting, guys. Reach second in combat with enemy champions. You deal 2% bonus damage up to 6. Okay, Mark, don't fuck up the smite. Oh, Yoinkies. Game announcement on, on Kill Water Dragon Red. Man, red side bot lane. Every time I watch a game on this patch, red side bot lane is just standing in this bush. Because enemy jungler is standing right here. That's the way blue side is, lol. I feel like it's not... Because of how... I feel like this gank path is a lot easier than this one. I know it's supposed to be the same. But this gank path feels 10 times nicer, it looks like. This one feels kind of sketchy and easy to defend the pink. Whereas this one feels... I don't know. This area just feels harder to play. Like, I... I also, is this path the same distance? I don't know. I don't know. No, everything just looks kind of cooked. Mid lane running from that brush down to here... Versus mid lane running around here into your... T I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. It's because of Dragon Pit? Yeah, I know. But obviously you can't mirror that. Seems like red side bot is easier to gank and top is harder. Isn't that two bot benefits? Top is harder to gank and bot is easier to gank. Oh, actually, no, it's not. But still. It just makes you all play bot side anyway. Mid lane looks crazy wide, doesn't it? Look how wide that is. That looks like Dota. Is Dota wide? I feel like I saw Dota and it was wide. I played one game of Dota in my life. I queued up and played a guy that looked like a big meat dude with a hook. Oh my god, Link ass, man. Get him, boy. Pain? Cool down? Ooh, hard. Sundered Sky, 55 attack damage, 300 health, 50 milliliters. Light Shield Strike, the first basic attack against a champion crits for 150% and then it heals for 96 plus 8% of missing health. Excess healing is granted temporary bonus health. Like It's like Sunder or what? Hollow Radiance, 600 health, 40 MR, 100% belt base health. Taking damage or causing causes you to begin dealing 36 magic damage per second to nearby enemies. Increased by 25% against minions. Taking or dealing damage refresh the duration of this effect. King and enemy deals 72 magic damage in an area around them. That's really good for wave clear then, I guess. Like a sunfire. A magic resist sunfire. Bounty of worlds. That's the new warding items or what? That's Scion ult. Storm Razor is the same. Looks similar. Rod of Ages, same, I guess. 
I think the weirdest thing about this patch is like you can ride the Herald, which to me is just completely cooked. Oh, he yeeted someone out. Oh, Yoinkies. Ah! Gwenning? Not Gwenning. For each second in combo damage champion, deal 2% bonus damage up 10% at maximum strength gain 10% omnivamp. Isn't that what it was before or something? It was similar? Lock it same, similar. No big change. So whoever gets Herald, everyone gets one fast reset. Look at him riding the Herald. <laughs> like, what is going on? Wait, you can ride it again! Yo, where are you going? Other way! Oh my god, this poppy. <laughs> okay. LeBlanc's item, Storm Surge. 100 AP, 12%, ma 12 magic pain, 5% musi. Deal 35% of champions maximum health within 2.5 seconds. Apply Squall to them and grant 25% move speed. After 2 seconds, strike the target, dealing 221 magic damage. The target dies while the strike and detonates immediately in a large area and grants... Is that Deathfire Grasp? Holy fuck, that item looks busted. 35% of a champ's maximum health within 2.5... Oh, dealing 35% of his maximum health. So if LeBlanc bursts someone, it puts Squall on them, which does extra damage. And if they die before the strike hits, it detonates in a large area and gives 30 gold. Any cool AD carry items? I don't think AD carry items have changed much, have they? I don't know. I haven't seen any new AD carry items. Remember, there's no mythics now, chat. Remember, there's no mythics. These aren't mythic items they're building first. Every item is same. You can build whatever you want, whenever you want. Yeah, she's doing damage. And VTO TP'd in. Oh my god, it's a mega throw. Or is it? The boys are here! Oh no, you might be inting. You might not be inting. You might be smurfing. Man, Lee Sin looks like a useless champ. Maybe it's because he has no skin. Oh shit, it's the... Holy fuck! Surprise, motherfucker! Let's see how... 15k health? 20 minutes in, 15k HP? Oh yeah, there's different versions of Nash as well. I forgot. Is it 15k on life? Really? But this looks so tanky. Why does it look so tanky? Check Shadow Flame. Magic damage and true damage critically strikes enemies below 35% health, dealing 20% increased damage. 120 AP, 12 magic pen. Magic and true damage critically strikes enemies below 35% health, dealing 20% increased damage. This plus this? That's a quick one shot, isn't it? These items are giving 200, uh, 220 AP. And they're giving 24 magic pen, and they're giving like bonus damage, crits, damage amplifiers. I want to see his burst on Zaya or something. Can he just pop someone? Kanek Rukern. 400 health, 80 magic resist. After not taking magic damage for 12 seconds, gain a magic shield for 853. Okay, so there's a lot of mage burst items in the game. Looks like there's new mage defense items as well though. This is giving him combined 1k health and 120 MR. Well, that LeBlanc's in thing. Or is she? Yeah, Gwen will do damage soon, I promise. He has 278 MR and 4.5k HP. And he's gonna get his magic shield back in a second. Here it comes, his 900 magic damage shield. There it is. <laughs> Wasn't that egregious. This patch looks fucking weird, man. It looks so weird. What is going on? This Baron, what is the effects of this Baron? If you kill a buff, everyone on your team gets that buff, right? And is there anything else? That's all Barons. Oh, really? I know that Scuttle Crab goes Schizo, doesn't it, or something? There's different Barons now? Yeah. That's the change that I'm, I'm not a big fan of. Three Barons? I think the reason I'm not a fan of three Barons is like... Baron is an OG, you know? Baron is like the core of the game. Everyone who watches League from Season 1 knows Baron is great. But now there's three of them, so you don't know what they do. They all do the same thing, it just changes the map. Oh, really? Okay, that's a bit better then. Never mind, I take it back. I thought the, the Baron buffs were different. Okay, okay. It's just the pit that changes. Good night, sweet prince. Oh no, I just nutted. Holy fuck, Zeri time. Mamma mia. Holy fucker. 
Wait, is it is it one Baron for the rest of the game or is it random on spawn? It's one for the rest of the game, right? Like every Baron that respawns is same Baron, right? It has 20% tenacity on it. 55% attack speed, 50 magic resist, 78 magic damage on hit, 20% tenacity. It procs the shield item first and then I can activate W. What Adam's saying is because he has a 1.1k magic shield against mages, he can let that shield break and then press W. So maybe that champ is like not as bad against Gwen as it used to be. Check Black Cleaver. Hit 5 at the AD, 400 health, 200 minutes haste. I think that was the same though. Dealing physical damage to a champion applies 4% armor reduction 6 seconds, stacks up to 24% rage. Attacking a unit grants 20 move speed for 2 seconds. Yo, 20 move speed for 2 seconds. They reduced the armor reduction, but 20 move speed for 2 seconds. That's the old phage item, no? That wasn't in the game before, right? That was in the game ages ago. Old phage. Yo, they're trying to bring back like the old items. Haunting Guys is here. Deathfire Grasp. Old phage passive. Casting your ultimate summons a storm around you for 5 seconds and 50 magic damage per second slows enemies by 30%. I heard Kraken Slayer is really OP. Does Bloodthirst have crit on it? I think it does. Yeah, 20%. I think most AD items have 20%. What the frick? The Zeri is OP. He's giga fed. Zeri time? Oh my god. I don't want another fucking year of this shit. No! Man, these items are weird. That Scion build looks kind of crazy, actually. What the frick? Alright, in-house is time. Brought to you by Spectator Andy Cajal over here. 